What's up everybody, it's Havoc xx 69 I'm back again with another video on key map switching. I did one, it's been a while ago, about a year ago actually. At the time I was only two months into using PC gaming. Uh, Razer is my main setup, you know, keyboard, headsets, mouse, mouse pads, keypad, you name it, I've got it. I uh, even got the speakers now, so. But back then I came up with a good way I felt for switching in between your your key maps uh, I've been doing some more digging I've been wondering what this hyper shift button does I, don't, I, I think it's a very underutilized uh, button or feature for your keyboard mainly uh, if you're doing different kinds of, of apps or you know photoshops or anything that requires some different changes so as an example I'm just going to set it up so we can go through and switch the key maps again. Okay. Last time uh, we used the joystick on the side. This time we're going to use the hyper shift just to give you a basic idea of what it does. So with that being said, let's jump over to my screen because I've already got it pulled up over there. All right. So here we are back again with the Razor 2. Tartarus V2, excuse me. We still have the same three examples that we used in the previous video under my gaming profile, Gaming 2. So what we want to talk about today is the hyper shift, right? You can pick any key you want for the hyper shift. I don't use this one a lot, so this is the one I'm going to use. You want to left click on that button or any button of your choice. Go over and select hyper shift and save. Now, a two-step process, so i got to walk you through all three of these. doesn't take long. Go to example two, same button. Uh, go down here to hyper shift, save. Go to example three, same button, hyper shift, save. It took me a while to figure out, okay, what's this button do? It's just hyper shift. Here's the key. See the standard button down here? Click on it. That activates your hyper shift. Okay. So let's go back up here to example one. So this is our, our razor hyper shift button. Okay. You have to physically hold this button to use any other keys that you program with the hyper shift. So if you noticed, see how these are all yellow now? Normal, they're green. What that's telling you is that these will only be active when you're holding down the Razor Hyper Shift button that you selected. So what we want to do is we want to go through these examples, right? Let's just pick 12. So here we are again. Switch key map. Cycle up. Save. So we're in example one. Let's try it. Hold down the Hyper Shift button. We go right to sample two, example two. So then that's all you have to do. You set these up, switch key map, cycle up, save. We'll go ahead and do it this way to example three. Now remember, this is the original. So we want to go specific key map. And what that does is that takes you right back to example one. I told you before, you can have as many examples as you want to in here, but your very last one, you don't want to cycle back through them all. You want to start over, so you select specific key map. Hit save. All right, so now we're sitting on example three. Hold down the hyper shift. Example one, example two, example three. And that's all there is to it. So I still think it's very useful. Uh, I know one thing that I'm experimenting with is in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Here's your one, two, three, four, fives. What I'm thinking about doing is taking the hyper shift because you have six, seven, and eight that you can also use. So I would hold down the hyper shift and be able to select my six, seven, and eight. Unfortunately, in Modern Warfare, this is my shift key, which is my map key for me, is the way I have it set up. So I'm going to look into that and see what I want to use. 
but that's going to be very helpful. So, again, another brief video. I just wanted to walk you through the HyperShift for a little bit. A different way to scroll through your key map settings. Uh, sort of explain what the HyperShift does. Uh, you know, go through the different key codes so you can see everything. You know, here's your functions. It, it will redo everything on the keypad. And it's not just with the Razor Tartars V2. You can go to your keyboard and you can do the same thing. Say, so take your control, make it a hypershift, save. There you go. Go from standard. Here's your Razor Hypershift. Any of these keys, you can make them do a, a separate function. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do this because I don't want that to be my hypershift. I don't really have a hypershift, so the only macro I have is a good game macro up here. That way, when I'm in my games, game's over. I hit that button one time, it types out good game for me in the chat. So, there you have it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions on hypershift, just let me know. Uh, put a comment down below. I pay attention to the comments. I get my notifications. I try and reply uh, appropriately. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to keep looking at these different types of things. I'm going to keep looking at some macros maybe. Uh, I did one on keyboard lighting not too long ago. Uh, my keybinds. I'm going to do another setup of keybinds for Apex Legends. And another one for Modern Warfare that's coming up. So I hope what I what I've showed you here today helps somebody in some way. Uh, but I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys on the next video, which I'm going to try and put out next weekend. So I'm going to try and start rolling these out at least once a week. All right. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. See you on the next video.